Start standing at the front of your mat. Bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing for just a few moments. Take full deep breaths, inhaling fully through the nose and exhaling through the nose. We'll keep the same attention to full deep breaths throughout the practice. We'll start our warm-up with sun salutations. Sun salutations are a great way to warm the body and prepare our muscles for the postures to come. Inhale and reach the arms up and over the head. And exhale and hinge forward from the hips. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Bring the hands to the floor or the shins. And then exhale and step the right foot back to the back of your mat. Hold this lunge position for a few breaths. Each exhale, allow the hips to sink a little deeper towards the mat. Keep pressing through the back heel and make sure the front knee is lined up with the front toes. On your next exhale, step the left foot back to meet the right foot and come to rest on your belly with your palms pressing into the mat beside your shoulders. Inhale and lift the chest into a cobra position. Actively press into your hands as if you're sliding them back down towards your feet and pressing the chest through the arms. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. On your next exhale, press back into a child's posture, allowing the head to rest on the mat and the hips to press towards the heels. You can stay here or lift the hips and press into a downward facing dog position. Press the hips up and back to bring the weight off of the, the arms. It may feel more comfortable in this position to bend the knees so you can press more weight off the arms and into the lower body. If this is uncomfortable, drop back down to a child's position. On your next inhale, look up and step the left foot forward into a lunge position. Again, we'll hold this position a few breaths, allowing the hips to gently press towards the mat with each exhale. On your next inhale, step the right foot forward towards the left. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips, allowing the head to reach to the floor. Again, bend the knees if you need. And then inhale, reverse swan dive, reaching the arms towards the ceiling, melting the shoulders down the back. Exhale back to your starting position with the hands at the heart. We'll repeat that on the other side. Inhale and reach the arms up and over the head. Exhale and hinge from the hips. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Bring the hands to the floor or to the shins. Exhale, this time step the left foot back to the back of your mat. Keep sinking into the hips with each exhale that you take. On your next exhale, step the right foot back to meet the left foot and come to rest on your belly with your palms pressing into the mat beside your shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest into a cobra position. Actively press into your hands as if you're sliding them back down towards the feet and pressing the chest through the arms. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Exhale and press back into a child's posture, allowing the head to rest on the mat and the hips to press towards the heels. You can stay here again or lift back up into that downward facing dog position. Again, feel free to drop back down or bend the knees here if that feels more comfortable. On your next inhale, look up and step, this time the right foot forward, into that lunge position. Again, we'll hold this position for several breaths, allowing the hips to gently press down towards the mat with each exhale. On your next inhale, step the left foot forward towards the right. Exhale, hinge from the hips, allowing the head to reach towards the floor. Again, bend the knees if you need to. And then inhale, reverse swan dive, reaching the arms towards the ceiling and melting the shoulders down from the back. Exhale back to your starting position with the hands at the heart. From here, we'll use the same sign salutations to move into our standing postures. Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head. And exhale, hinge from the hips. Inhale again, look up, find some length, and then exhale, step the left foot back to the back of your mat. This time, turn the back foot flat and press firmly into the baby toe side of the foot. Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head into warrior one position. We'll stay here for several breaths. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, and exhale, melt the shoulders down the back. 
Keep sinking into your lunge and gently pressing the front knee towards the baby toe side to strengthen the outer thigh. Move deep into this lunge to challenge your leg strength. Remember to engage your abdominals to prevent the lower back from overworking. On your next exhale, open the arms and the hips to the sides for warrior two. Gaze over the front fingers and then look back to the back hand to ensure the back arm is at shoulder's height. Think of reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling and sinking the hips towards the floor. Lengthen the spine and take a few breaths here. Inhale and turn the front palm up and reach the back hand to the back leg. Exhale, slide the back hand down the leg coming into Exalted Warrior. Keep lunging forward even though you're leaning back and make sure to keep space in the backside waist. On your next inhale, reach back up into Warrior Two. Exhale and place the right elbow on the right knee and reach the left arm up and over the left ear for extended side angle. Keep reaching the shoulders down away from the ears and pressing deeply into your lunge. For more challenge, you can bring the right fingers to rest on the floor on the big toe side of the right foot. On your next exhale, bring the arms to the floor and come back into that push-up position and then lower the body to the mat. Inhale into your cobra position, pressing the arms down and sliding the upper body forward. And then exhale back into your child's pose or downward facing dog. Inhale and step the left foot forward and we'll move into warrior one on the left side. Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head for warrior one. With each inhale, you're reaching the arms towards the ceiling. And with each exhale, you're melting the shoulders down the back and working into your lunge. Really move deep into your lunge to challenge your leg strength here. Keep breathing, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, nice and deep. On your next exhale, open the arms and the hips to the side for warrior two. Gaze over the front fingers and then look back and to ensure the back arm is at shoulder's height. Think of reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling and sinking the hips towards the floor. Remember lengthening the spine and working your breath. Nice deep inhales and nice strong exhales. On your next inhale, turn the front palm up and reach the back hand to the back leg. Exhale and slide the back hand down the leg coming into Exalted Warrior. Keep lunging forward even though you're leaning back. And make sure you keep space in the side of the waist. On your next inhale, reach back up into Warrior Two. Exhale and place your back, your left elbow onto the left knee and reach the right arm up and over the right ear for extended side angle. Keep reaching the shoulders down away from the ears and press deeply into your lunge, feeling the stretch. Again, for more challenge, bring the bottom palm to the rest on the big toe side of the foot. On your next exhale, bring both hands to the floor, coming into your push-up, lowering all the way to the mat, inhaling into your cobra position, opening through the heart, and then exhale, press back into child's pose or downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. On your next inhale, step the right foot forward into your lunge, but this time stay up on the back toes. Reach the arms up over the head into the ceiling. As in warrior one, melt the shoulders down, engage the abdominals and lunge deep into the front knee. Exhale, drop the right arm towards your side and inhale, lift the left arm higher. As you exhale, start to rotate towards the right leg and hook the left elbow across the right knee. Press into the palms together into prayer twist. And with each exhale, try to move a little bit deeper into the twist. If this is too challenging and balances an issue, drop the back knee towards the mat. On your next inhale, unwind, reach both hands towards the front foot. Straighten the front leg and come into pyramid pose, reaching the body over the front leg and stretching the hamstrings. Let's just take a few breaths here. On your next inhale, grab the right ankle, shin or upper leg with the right arm and reach the left arm to the ceiling for triangle posture. Rotate the body towards the side wall and reach energy up and out the top fingertips.
On your next exhale, bring both hands down. Step back into your push-up position and lower all the way to the mat. Inhale, back up into cobra position. Open the heart. Lengthen the crown of the head away. And exhale, back into child's pose or downward facing dog. From here, I'll repeat those same postures on the left side. So this time, step the left foot forward into your lunge and stay up on the back toes. Inhale, reach the arms up into the ceiling. And as with warrior one, melt the shoulders down, engage the abdominals and lunge deep into that front knee. Exhale, drop the left arm towards the side and inhale, reach the right arm up higher towards the ceiling. Start to rotate towards the left leg and hook the right elbow across the left leg. Press the palms together into prayer twist, and with each exhale, try to move a little bit deeper into your twist. Again, drop the back knee if this is too challenging for the balance. Inhale, unwind, reaching both hands towards the front foot. Straighten the front leg and come into your pyramid pose, stretching the hamstrings. Just allow your body to release and relax over the front leg. On your next inhale, grab the left ankle, shin, or upper leg with the left arm and reach the right arm to the ceiling for triangle pose. Rotate the body towards the side wall and re really reach energy up through the top fingers. And then on your next exhale, bring both hands down to the floor, step back into your push-up position and slowly lower down. Inhale back up into cobra and then exhale back into your child's pose or into downward facing dog. From here we're going to move into some seated stretches. So when you're ready, come into a comfortable seated position with the legs stretched out in front of you. Bend the left knee, bringing the sole of the foot towards the right knee. Rotate your torso over the right leg. Inhale, sit tall over the right leg, and then exhale, hinge forward from the hips, reaching the sternum towards the right toes. Keep drawing the shoulders away from the ears and lifting the chest up and forward. Try not to round the back here, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, and just take a few breaths. Inhale, look up, and then we'll switch sides. Again, take another inhale, rotate the torso over the left leg this time. And then exhale, hinge forward from the hips, keeping the spine nice and neutral, and lifting and reaching the sternum out and towards the toes. With every inhale, lengthen the spine, and with every exhale, release a little bit deeper into your posture, feeling the stretch. On your next inhale, come all the way up. Bring the soles of the feet together for butter butterfly posture. Bring the thumbs to the insides and the fingers to the outsides of the feet and open them as a book. Inhale, sit tall, and then exhale, reach the sternum towards the feet as you press the knees towards the mat. With every exhale, leaning a little bit deeper into the posture, feeling the stretch in the inner thighs and the back. And then when you're ready, take a nice deep inhale, come up, bring both legs together for our very last posture, Navasana Boat Pose. Hold the backs of the legs and roll back off the tailbone. Lift the legs and engage your abdominals. If you can, release the hold of the legs. And if that's too much, then grab back on and hold. This is a great exercise to strengthen the abdominals. Keep the heart open, shoulders back, chest lifted, and just breathe. And then release all the way down for our final posture, Shavasana or relaxation. Shavasana allows your body to completely relax and absorb the effects of your practice. Lie on your back with your arms resting towards your sides and your palms facing up. Let your legs fall open to the sides. Allow your eyes to close and release the control of your breath. For the next few moments, just let your body completely relax. Nowhere else to go and there's nothing else to do. Just take as much time as you need here to release and let go. And 
and feel free to stay in this position as long as you like. Typically Shavasana in a class setting you may be in for five to ten minutes. So this is a very short Shavasana so if you'd like to take longer please do so. But when you're ready you can slowly turn to your right side coming into the fetal position with the knees into the chest and just resting your head on your right arm. Then using your arms, you can slowly and gently press yourself up and back into that seated position. And just coming to this final seated position and thank you for practicing today and I look forward to helping you reach your fitness goals tomorrow.